Hey boys, welcome to the brand new cricket game, Big Bash Boom. It released, um, well, it released today. I actually don't know when it went live. I actually hopped on the store, like, at midnight, well, actually before midnight, and I paid for it and downloaded it, so I don't know when it actually went up on the store, but it's out, and this is going to be my very first game, first time booting it up. Um, as you see here, you get to choose, this is just a casual match, you can choose the lineups, you can choose the overs, difficulty, there's easy, medium, and hard, and then there's also a couple of customizations with the ball, you can, there's a few different ones, um, I'm sure we'll have a look at that in future videos, but yeah, this, this is gonna be, this is the first game I played, and <laughs> you'll, you'll see, um, the bowling, I don't, I don't do too bad with the bowling. You'll, you'll have a look as a little start screen to choose whether you bowl or bat. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a little bit of a first impressions. Obviously, my very first game um, was fairly unfamiliar. I looked at the controls. It is a simple game, but the, <laughs> you're gonna see, especially with the batting, you're gonna see, I, it's, <laughs> I was so used to Ash's cricket. Um, and also the time, like, it's easier to show you when I actually bat the, the timing window. But you'll see sort of the, the UI, the interface here. Obviously, use the face buttons. You move the cursor to where you want the ball to go. Uh, you press the face buttons. You can also press L2, I think, to change. Like, you can switch to, like, off cutters, like cutters, slob, all that sort of stuff. And then you have that little meter there. I actually didn't realize the first ball after you select where you want it to go you still have to keep the ball in line it moves around and i'm guessing when you go up to hard difficulty it moves around more and more so this will be a better example so you change where you want the ball to go hit the face button to the ball you want to bowl just try and work it out there and then you have to keep moving it to keep it level the one thing I didn't realize at the start is the the circle around, well, the circle that's like red, or if it's green, I was like, why is it why is it red all the time? Like, is that why is it showing up red? Like, you'll see here it's red, and from what I could gather, it's just the length of the delivery. So when you keep it like shorter, it stays red. If you do it fuller, it, it goes to green. So that, that's that's basically all that is. So that's gonna be a wide, a bit bit rough, but you know. <laughs> whatever dude um the other user thing so the meter that fills up here obviously you want to get it in the blue is the ideal as we clean him up with an absolute ripper they want us to celebrate but i have no idea what the button is to celebrate so like <laughs> i don't know dude maybe we don't have any celebrations i did have a quick look and there's a there's a heap of them dude and there are some that i do want to unlock it'll be fun but um yeah, that was a good ball. That was a, that was a good nut. So, yeah, you want to get the meter in the blue. And you'll see if I do get in the blue, it is like a... I think I get it a couple times. You'll see it. But, obviously, if you overstep, it's going to be a no ball. And, uh, yeah, obviously green is also good. But blue is the ideal um, with this meter filling up here. You want it in the blue. Uh, something is a little tough. And right here... I don't know how to appeal. I, uh, I don't even know if you can appeal. I was hitting all the buttons because that looked pretty close. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, first game, as you see, it's medium difficulty and they're, they're struggling. They're struggling. We bowled a couple of wides um, and he's blocking it. So I, these are going to be my first... I've actually I've played two games now um, and I will upload the second game because I played with different teams. I also lowered it to easy just because you'll you'll see in a second the bowling is not tough and I was just very I don't know I, I it just confused me like it's three over game it's medium difficulty that like the fact they're blocking it was very weird I I couldn't quite understand why and you'll see a, a little bit of a spoiler um, because it illustrates my point I lowered the difficulty to easy in the next video you'll see and the bat, as you see, there's a good example of uh, getting it in the blue and the fire. Apparently, that wasn't wide. I don't, I don't know how. Um, but I lowered it to easy in the next game, and the batters were hitting sixes every ball. I was bowling. I, I don't understand. So, the difficulty, I don't understand in the slightest because I would have thought, e like, I don't know. You'll, you'll see it in the second game. 
Um, I'll rant about that, but yeah, medium difficulty. They're not really doing anything with the bat. Um, I'm bowling pretty, I guess I'm bowling pretty good, but they're not even really trying aggressive shots. Uh, but yeah, like uh, talking about the gameplay, obviously I need to play more to really go in depth about it. I don't want to be like too negative to start. Um, one thing I will mention, and it is a, it is a talking point. A lot of people brought it up. This game is, well, it's weird. Like on the store, I think it was like 92 something. Like it was, it was 90 bucks and like, let's be, let's be real. The game is not worth $90. And I just, I find it a little bit ridiculous that they actually charge that much for this game. Um, this could turn out, like, after, like, a lot of time, like, it could be a really fun game, and I think it will be a fun game, but it is not worth $90, $90, and I, like, I, I'm not a, I'm not a marketing expert, but it, it just feels to me like, why would you, why would it be so expensive? Obviously, the Big Bash is coming up soon. Even, like, Big Bash Cricket and stuff on Twitter have been, like, advertising the game. So, it's going to get some good uh, traction. It's right here. Um, he's hit that for six. And that's actually where, I think, if they time it ideal, they get that sort of trail off the ball. Um, I guess the other th quick thing to mention, the bars up top. So, with Pattinson here, the blue bar, it's almost filled up. So, that's where you'll get your special... Uh, delivery so when that fully fills up you'll get the choice to I think we get at this ball potentially oh no it's Mitch Swepson coming in to bowl um, but there we go yeah power up ready press L2 and R2 to activate and I'm not sure how many power ups there are but you'll see here we get blaze bringer batters can't run it seems like a bit of a useless one <laughs> but i don't know it actually works out okay for this game because they weren't even really trying to hit sixes anyway so <laughs> yeah um the power ups are definitely and here's a good example so the spin it's very easy to get in the blue <laughs> and actually can't run so it worked out all right but um yeah, what was I talking about? Yeah, the uh, like they're getting good traction, and it's like the Big Bash. It's a kid-friendly thing, and this game is definitely a casual game. Like this is not going to be to to hardcore cricket fans. So to charge like a hundred bucks, like it's going to be the parents spending the money for most people. Obviously, some older people are going to get it, but I think predominantly it's a you know a more casual, kid-friendly game. I just I I can't understand the price point like. The game is not worth that much. It doesn't have, it doesn't have the depth for it, and it. I, I don't know. In my opinion, that is like a fairly big point because I th I think it's a bit. I think it's a bit ridiculous. Um, you know, I didn't show the start screen, but you can play tournament, you can play casual matches, and online. I feel like online for this game might be the the way to go. I think online can be pretty fun. Um, but other than that, like, there's nothing really else. I mean, this is the big bash. Like, you don't get a career mode. You don't get anything of that, obviously. Uh, as you see here, I think the batting team has a power-up. Um, and uh, Ra's Revenge, so tougher catches. Fielders throw slower. Seems like an okay batting power-up. Um, don't know how long it lasts for, but Benny McDermott is going all right. 17 off 13. Just completely missed that one. But, uh, yeah, so, yeah, the price point, I think, is way too steep. I'm not going to dwell too much on that, but I, th I think it's I think it's worth mentioning. Um, it's just, yeah, I, I think I, I did see somewhere that apparently in different regions it is cheaper, but in Australia, that's how much it is. And I know, yeah, it's, but... Yeah, we'll, we'll get back, we'll get back to the gameplay and we'll, we'll see us batting. Oh god, this is this is awful. Um, <laughs> you'll see it here in a sec. I'll, I'll talk about the batting. So right here, you have to press triangle to ready. Also the face buttons. So def <laughs> defend, loft, advance, aggressive. Again, like I don't really like defend. Like I don't know. I f it feels like a bit of a why would you defend? It doesn't make sense. Um, and I'm just trying to work out what the hell I'm doing here as that one. Okay timing. It was tough. It was tough. The batting was tough. Even though it's simple. So what do you... What do you, you you've got to... I don't think I was doing this. I eventually look at the, the settings, I think, as this one. I don't know what happened there. 
the okay timing, but I didn't even swing the bat. But you've got to press R1. Hold R1. So, yeah, I look at it here. I'm like, what the hell is happening? Like, I, I had no idea. So, yeah, you hold R2 for the back foot, R1 for the front foot. So, you've got to do that before the delivery. Um, I just hold it in. It says for batting, like, again, like, you just hold it in. And then, obviously, the shot's there. And the left analog stick to aim. So, yeah, right here. So, it's a fairly short one. So, I'm holding back and... Again, so you're you're probably wondering what the hell I'm doing. I'm so used to Ash's cricket. You press the you you <laughs> you move the right analog stick to aim the shot. So I'm so like I'm not used to the far out, dude. Using the left stick. So go. On. I played Ash's cricket like yesterday as well. So I was just <laughs> I couldn't to start with. It was it was tough. I couldn't wrap my head around holding the button and then the left stick to aim again i i'm sure i press like the right and log stick to play it on the offside like it <laughs> it gets better no don't worry um maybe i should have like played a couple of games but no this is my first game like well i thought you know upload it i thought the bowling was good the batting just absolutely shocking um there we go so okay timing good footwork so yeah, it's pretty simple like you, you see the ball marker and you just hold for a back foot hold for a front foot obviously this one you go front foot um there we we try for a loft shot bad timing it's gonna be out so yeah basically you only really like i don't know i don't know why you would ever play a defensive shot as matty renshaw comes to the crease so yeah the defense is like pointless the loft the aggressive is basically just a ground shot um and then loft obviously going for a six so yeah that, that's that i couldn't so the other thing to point out and i realized this after a couple of games um the timing i couldn't get good timing apparently there is an indicator so you'll see the circle i didn't notice this to start with which it annoys me now because it's pretty obvious but when he bowls it the circle like collapses in on itself and obviously you want to press the button um you want to press the button when the circle is like perfectly matched up so i was i was trying to just as uh, they get a power here um better catches and stuff like that but he bowls it here the circle collapses and i kept doing it way too early obviously you want to get it to where it collapses perfectly so i didn't see that to start with that's why the timing is like always bad well okay even that but even like that like it's okay timing with the ball like goes nowhere which i, I thought was a little strange like this one okay timing I, <laughs> this is a little funny as well the fact that like it was a pretty simple catch but because i had the power up they make it spectacular i guess um so yeah the timing obviously it's gonna be a lot easier knowing the fact that i i saw that i now know that the timing meter is based on that circle i was trying to work out for ages like what the hell is happening we're three for four we're having a rough time here <laughs> we're having a rough time um maybe i i thought medium would be fine i should have started on easy obviously <laughs> but yeah so that you know first game it's a bit of a struggle with the bat again okay timing i just i, I didn't see that circle stupidly one thing one it's not really I, I guess it is gameplay related th that's really bothered me so far in the two games is the camera angle is so bad um so the rest of the gameplay like obviously i need to play more to actually get a feel for it but the one thing that sticks out pretty noticeably is the camera is shocking as this one again terrible timing just scoop it up to the man but the the, the, the camera is so bad a couple of times where i'll hit it like behind the batter the camera doesn't turn around so you don't even know where the heck the ball is gone and even like when you hit the ball just through the field and stuff is uh they get another power up i i'm batting so bad i get like no power ups this whole innings <laughs> but he gets swift speed so it's gonna be a quick one um and it was pretty quick too so right here like the ball like i the camera just i don't know what it is the camera it doesn't like show the ball like that was a bad example because it didn't really go too far anyway like i knew it it went straight to the keeper but the camera the camera is bad like that's that's probably my 
my one real like takeaway to start is this is okay so let's have a look, look at this <laughs> go back in and watch that dude the running i'm i'm out i don't know like i don't know how i got two runs to start with but how did i not get in the crease <laughs> he didn't slide his bat you goddamn idiot um so yeah honestly first impressions of this game not too high um but we'll come back I, I will um show you that second game in a bit and talk a little bit more but yeah i don't know obviously you need to play more to get the full gameplay experience but there's a couple of things of note there so hopefully you guys enjoyed make sure to like and i'll see you in the next one